Okay, here's another subnetting question that I was asked online to answer. Um, it's a typical question um, that you might find, um, subnetting question you might find on the Cisco CCNA. So let's just, I'll show you how you would approach this question, all right? So it says here the network 172.25 has been divided into eight equal subnets. Which of the following IP addresses can be assigned to hosts in the third subnet if the IP subnet 0 command is configured on the router. Okay, so, um, well, first of all, we've got a starting address of 172.25, right? And it's going to be subnetted or divided into eight equal subnets. So let's do that first before we even consider these answers, right? Notice how they all start with 172.25, all the answers. All the answers start with 172.25, right? Okay, so, if we've got 172.25 as our starting point, right, right here, then the subnet mask starting point is 255.255.0.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow bits from this third octet right here, right, to make eight subnets. So the question is, how many bits do we borrow? Well, as I said in the previous um, video, the ones we borrow from here will represent subnets, and the zeros represent the hosts, right? So here we are. I've got 172.25.0.0 written on this line in binary, and I've got 255.255.0.0 written on this line in binary. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow bits here, right? And the question is, how many ones are we going to add to subnet our network, right? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. We're going to borrow three ones. Um, borrow three ones for our subnet in our subnet mask to create eight networks. Well, why? Well, if we take eight bit binary digits, right, and we put them in the place values, so here's eight binary digits, and we put them in place values, then this one right here is the two to the zeros place, or one, and this one right here, just these eight bits right here. Um, and then this one right here, this place value, is two to the seventh, or the 128 bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to borrow three bits going across left to right. So we're going to so I put one 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 right. What's our magic number? Our magic number is the last borrowed bit that we borrowed. So one two three. The last borrowed bit is this one, and it's in the 32's place right here, right. So that means the networks are going to go up by 32. So our networks would be 0, 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, and 224. Guess what? There's our eight subnets, right? Okay, 2 to the 5th power, 32. Now, the, one, the three ones that we borrowed, right, represent our subnets, right? So if we say we borrowed three ones, that's 2 to the 3rd power, which equals eight subnets, right? How many hosts do we have? We have hosts, we have, let's see, eight zeros here, and we have one, two, three, four, five zeros here, right? So that's eight plus five, so that's two to the twelfth power, right? No, two to the eight plus five is two to the thirteenth power, and so we could figure that out too. How many hosts will we have per network? Well, we just figure out whatever two to the thirteenth power is, or we could just say, well, this is two to the eighth power, which is 256. Add another one, 512, double it, 1024. 2048, 4096, and then 8192. So we'll have 8192 hosts. That's 2 to the 13th power, right? So now we know where our networks are, right? So then they say, well, they want hosts in the third subnet if the IP subnet 0 command is configured. Well, what does that mean? All that means is that we can use the 0 subnet. So now, if we can use the zero subnet, then the third subnet would be the 64 subnet, meaning 64 to 95. So that's, if we write that out, that would be 64.0 all the way to 95.255. So this would be the, the network and this would be the broadcast, okay? So now it makes it easy. We just look here and we say which one of these satisfies 
that answer, right? So we see here 78. Is that in, in between this range? Yes, this is in between this range. So this is one of the answers, right? Is this in the range? 98 to 16? Nope, that's not in the range. 72.0? Yep, that's in the range, right? 72 is between 64 and 95, right? Okay, uh, 94.255, yep, that's in the range, right? Okay, but look at this one, 96, nope, that's outside of the range, and then 100, that's outside of the range. So anyway, once we have the range, we have to know what our network is. We always have to be able to find what is our network number, what is our broadcast number, and then the answers become easy.